Hey y'all, it's Liz. Anyways, I'm I'm gonna do a um someone requested to see my cleansing routine, my my face cleansing regimen. It's not much, so I'm gonna show you what to do. Every night before I take my shower, I use Clinique Take the Day Off. I love this stuff. I soak a cotton ball or a cotton square and I take off all my makeup. Then I flip it over and I take off, you know, what I can of my makeup makeup foundation. Then I get into my shower and I use Estee Lauder Soft Clean. I love this stuff. I love it. I heart this. It's fantastic for my skin. I love the way. And you know what? You only need. I'm going to be honest with you. You see that? The size of this? That's all you need. And that's probably too much. Just like that. On your hand. See? Just a little bit. That's all you need because it lathers up really, really well. And then I massage it all into my skin and my neck. And that's this. Then when I get out, I don't normally, um, t I don't use a toner on my face, but I will immediately use this. And this is um, uh, Mary Kay's Intense Moisturizing Cream. I use this at night. I love this stuff and it, it really does it. It's thick and it's like a souffle and I just I massage this into my skin. Yep. Just like that. Yeah, no smell to it. And then um, um, oops. Also, twice a day, I started using the Clinique um, Even Better Skin Correct Skin Tone Corrector. I've been using this twice a day on these dark spots on my face, and I said I was going to use it for 30 days and then let you know if I seen any kind of uh, changes. Okay, so I am using this too. In the morning when I wake up, I go back to this and I wash my face every morning with the um, soft clean get my face cleaned because I mean even though I slept all night just get it all cleaned and then um, in the morning I put on the Clinique um, even better skin tone corrector and then on top of that I use Olay oil of Olay right before I put on my actual makeup I use the uh, Clinique pore mineralizer Pore miner minimizer. Um, I can't talk minimizer. I use this, and I use this basically just in here and on my nose, you know, because I my pores get kind of right up in here, in my cheeks. So I use this every day. This is during the day, and that's all I use, and that's my skincare routine, and um. Every night before bed, bed, I put on Carmex on my lips. So that's my skincare regimen, and I do have wrinkles. You no, know, starting at crow's feet. Whatever, Steve. He said they're sexy. Do you see? I got right there, and then crow's feet. Sorry. I know that's ugly. But yeah. But when you get around this area under your eye, you guys really need to be gentle with this because it's a very delicate area. And I have to be careful with what kind of creams I put on there too. But um, 
yeah so I just want to tell you guys that um, also if anybody has used the pep preparation H here or around here or here I had bought some instant Botox and it didn't work worth a shit it was from an infomercial but um, if you um, I did have something um, I can't remember what it was was it this one no this is clearance um, all right, perfecting base. This isn't what I was looking for, but um, this is a. Uh, you put it on, and it's supposed to help lighten up your eyes. Uh, but anyways, what I was going to say, just be gentle with this area, because it is a gentle, gentle. Uh, it's very delicate, so just be careful with it. But oh yeah, the preparation H is. is has anybody used that? on their lines and stuff and if you have will you kind of shoot me a comment or something let me know if it worked for you all right double peace y'all have a good night see you later